Let's take a look at the terminal wealth ratio and its relationship to cumulative and geometric returns. The terminal wealth ratio indicates how much a dollar will be worth in the future based on compound returns. Uh, these returns are going to include both price appreciation and income. So if we define, if we define R sub T as the return in period T, then the total wealth ratio is equal to 1 plus R1 times 1 plus R2 all the way out to 1 plus RT. So if you calculate the total wealth ratio to be, let's say, 1.4, and you had originally invested $1 million, you would now have $1.4 million. To find the cumulative return, we simply subtract one from the total wealth ratio. So the cumulative return is 1 plus R1 times 1 plus R2 all the way out to 1 plus RT and we just subtract 1 from it. Or we just take the total wealth ratio and subtract 1. Finally, the geometric average return is, the, um, is given by 1 plus R1 times 1 plus R2 all the way out to 1 plus RT, and then we're going to raise that number to the 1 over T power. So you're familiar with the arithmetic average where we add up the number of observations. So if we wanted to average, find the arithmetic average for these returns, we just add R1 to R2 to R3, etc., and then divide by the number of observations. Because we're multiplying here, to average them, we raise it to the 1 over t power, and then we have to subtract 1 from it. So the um, geometric average return is the total wealth ratio raised to the 1 over t power minus 1. So let's take a look at a numerical example. Suppose we have the security, it returns 8% in the first period, it loses 3% in the second period, and it earns 12% in the third period. Let's calculate all of these. The total wealth ratio would be 1 plus 0.08 times 1 plus negative 0.03 times 1 plus 0.12. If you multiply that out, you get 1.1733. The cumulative return, we're just going to subtract 1 from that, 17.33%. So the total amount of money that you had invested at the beginning of the period is up. 17.33%. But what's your average over those three years, right? You didn't earn 17.33% a year. What's your average over those three, three years? We take the total wealth ratio, we raise it to the one-third power because we have three returns here, and we subtract one, and we get 0.0547 or 5.47%. So you averaged 5.47% each year over these um, three years. So um, that's the relationship between the total wealth ratio, the cumulative return, and the geometric average return.